Cash for trash. Cash for trash. Get on it. Ka-ching. We're here to take your crap. Ka-ching. Hi, I'm Billy Trash, and this is Tracy Cash. Alongside our recycling expert and second-hand dealer, Paul Hogan, we take your trash and we turn it into cash. Cash for trash. Trash, everyone. We're out here at the cattery, and as you can see, I've got the uh, I've got the swans uh, stuff here because there's a few of us swan supporters that are still a little bit angry with the fact that uh, all the cats were on. Uh, they were on uh, enhanced in speaking drugs uh, during the game. We know that. That's why the swan. That's why the swans played so poorly because they didn't have any. Obviously, I don't even know why they went. The swans. Uh, the swans team. Even. I don't even know why they turned up. I think Collingwood were robbed. But anyway, we're out of the pit, we're out of Geelong, so we're going to get out here, we're going to see what's out here, Carayo, those sort of areas. Um, we were here last week, we're again here this week, so uh, it just never ends, the hard rubbish never stops. Tracy Cash and Hoags are on a, a little bit of a holiday, so I've got Daz and I've got uh, I've got the amazing Grace helping us out today, so uh, come out and get with it guys and get amongst it. Cash for Trash everyone, here we are out at Geelong, Carayo, we're having a look at a few bits and pieces. I just thought I'd show you some things here. Now I just want to say this is a random pile pick so we're not we're not having a great deal of luck. So what we're doing today is we're going to show you some of Geelong, we're going to show you some of the sites, we're going to show you some of the wonderful people we caught up with in Geelong, Corio, that type of thing, the interviews, the fun we're having down here. What a brilliant spot, you've got to get yourself down in Geelong guys, just a great spot, we've had such a terrific day. But look, at the same time, we are about saving stuff from hard rubbish, we've just seen this here, so let's have a bit of a look. Come on, come on, as I said, it's not a huge picking day, we're not, um, you know, we're not changing the world today. At Channel 31, there's the girls, there's the girls, they're giving us a wave in the car. At Channel 31, we're all about, right, saving stuff from landfill, all right? And that's what we've got here. We've got a bit of landfill here, right? Now, look, it's not much. Now, I just want to show you, I don't want it, but these are the sort of things you can find in hard rubbish, right? You've got your, now, this is obviously, once upon a time, these were blinds for the house. So you've got all these blinds that sit on the house. You know, now this, this stuff here, this stuff here, this is all uh, really, that, I mean, this is quite good quality, uh, you know, canvas. That's, it's quite wet because it's been raining. But at the end of the day, there's a, there's a proper blinds for the house. Now here, uh, this, is, this is what caught my eye too, guys. This guy is chucking out. It looks like, um, it looks like a front door or a back door or something. It's got glass written all over it. And uh, obviously he's saying there's glass in there. Have a look at it. Have a look at that. I mean, that is, this is the sort of thing you can find out here, guys, on the pick. So building products, glass for the beach house, um, even for the shed, you know, I mean, even for the bloody home if you need it. That's an absolute ripper. And th this isn't something you find at Ikea or Kmart or any of those places. This is proper, proper doors with a really lovely, look at that, it's just a beautiful bit of glass. If you were to get that glass made up, that'd cost you a small fortune. And it's really quite light. Oh, look at this, it's just, it's just in such good nick. It's in great nick, it's on a slider. You see that, that's where you slide on the ground. Look, I don't want it, but I tell you what, if you put this on Marketplace, you, you would probably get about, oh, I don't know. You could, oh, look, come down this way, guys. Look, it's even, look, it's got the runner. It's got the runner on the top. So there's a bonus. It comes with the runner, right? It comes with the runner. I mean, that is an absolute ripper. It's been painted up. It's not, it's not, it's in bloody good nick. Let me have a look. That's, 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 uh, that's, that's wood. That's not custom wood, guys. That's hardwood. That's a proper, that's a proper hardwood. Yeah, there, that's hardwood. That's hardwood. This is a beautiful thing. I'm even considering putting that on the car. Come and get it if you want it, right? Come and get it if you want it. That'll be going to hard rubbish. That'll be going to landfill. And, and the big grater, he'll just go, and he'll just, he'll just crush that in a million bits and it'll be gone forever. Whereas that could be in someone's house. That could be doing something. I'll just give you one more close up of this glass. That is, have a look at that. I, you, I, I can't do a feeler, you know, a, a feeler TV. I don't know, we don't have, we don't have that, we don't have smell -a vision yet, do we? Are they making smell -a vision Daz? You know, where you, where you, where you, where you can smell what you, 
Because that, I mean, if Grace starts up a cooking show, which we know she's probably going to get into, our sound girl, she's the most fantastic cook, apparently. She's going to start up a, a cooking show. If her cooking show could be different, you know what I'd like it to do? When people turn on the TV, they actually smell what she's cooking. smell a vision That's what I'm calling it. What are your thoughts on smell a vision <laughs> what, what are your thoughts on smell a vision So long as she's not cooking curry. Yeah, okay. No, but that's, that's why people want to have it. Well, we'll ask Grace herself. Grace, what are your thought, thoughts on smell vision Do you think smell a vision is going to work? Yeah, fantastic idea. I'll be in it. I'll, 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 I'll be in it. Right. So there you go. So Grace loves the idea of smell a vision all right? So I, I, there's two things I want to, 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 to put out there to the TV executives and people who make all this stuff and make it happen in a technical sense with all the specs. We need smell a vision Okay, we need smell a vision and we need touch a vision and that's what that's going to be that's going to be where you touch the glass and you go oh yeah so you can actually people can touch the tv as you're touching the glass a cry i'm out of geelong we're having a fantastic day we're out trying to find hard rubbish recycle it repurpose it for our show cash for trash on channel 31. we found this magnificent uh, door here this is just a beauty door um do you know anything about this door young man this door is this dad's or is this dad's door it's dad's door. This was dad's. A young bloke there. He's not allowed to be filmed because we don't film children unless unless we're told it's okay. So he, this young man is here. We saw him riding up the road the other just before on his scooter. He's a ripper scooter rider, and he's told me that used to be the door. So that's a beauty. I'm loving that. You, as I said, that is a beauty. That's in good nick. I'm not joking. There's a that that's a beautiful thing. Oh, it's just got it's just got it's just got vintage glass patina door written all over it. Anyway, there's also these, um, obviously, to come out the house. They're the, uh, they're the, the, the blinds for the house, So, um, but we're not taking them. Um, but, yeah, I am loving this, am loving this. I'll have a think about it if I can get it on the car, and uh, we'll get off to the next one. I just want to show right, well, anyway, a few we'll Swan supporters that still care. Okay, we still care. I uh, we know we got thrashed, but I think if I sing loud enough, we'll get some people out here to get some reaction, and maybe even they might start singing along. You're a D supporter. You're cat you catters. You're in Melbourne. We're just out here to show the kids the ground. Oh, fantastic. Well, lovely to meet you, sir. Yeah. Lovely. Hi. I'm Billy. G'day, Billy. We're on Thursday yeah, at 8.30. I've seen the show now and again. Oh, have you really? Absolute oh. trash. You know. <laughs> it's, it's absolute trash. <laughs> <laughs> well, there's a glowing endorsement yeah. for the show. <laughs> this, it's absolute trash. Day last week in Melbourne. Yes. Now we went down. We went down to Chelsea for that one because it's on at the same time. So we were at the Kingston one. Magnificent. One guy came out. He gave us this trunk that he went halfway around the world with. He said, "Here, guys, you can use this aluminium trunk. We put it on marketplace. We got 200 bucks for it. Here we go. We got a is she all right to be on TV? Is she all right to be on some cat supporters? What do you think? Do you think they'll come out and tell me to just?" I think one's going to come out and throw this, burn it. They're going to burn this flag in front of me. There's no way. They should. They should burn it. Down the thunder from the sky. Trash for trash. We're here a special today, guys, as well. We're going to catch up with Matt. He recycles and he repurposes stuff. He's a, he's a bit of a junk man, he loves the junk, he loves making stuff, he's good with his hands, he loves woodworking, he does welding, he makes all sorts of things. Um, he's made some sundials, he's made some um, some kennels, so we're going to go and check it out. That's all part of it, alright? We're all going to get to check it out. This is what all these no, things in Matt, Geelong have to offer. Matt here, and Matt makes stuff out of hard rubbish and stuff he finds, and he's going to take us into his little shed and we're going to have a little bit of a look at what you've made recently. Yeah, that'd be good. That'd be awesome. Yeah. I um, I specialise in um, making things out of old pallets. And if I can find rubbish on the side of the road or if I can, um, you know, get scrap metal and weld things and build things. And yeah, that's my aim, you know, the recycle. And if you, you know, people complain about too much waste these days. And if you use it, you're not wasting it. Now, I've heard you build a sundial. Yeah, I build sundials out of, out of old saw blades. So um, old uh, demo saws. I take them and I cut them in half, so I need six to make five, if that makes sense. So I need all the corners out of them, and um, I just weld them all up. I've actually got some set up in the shed there. 
Oh, can we have a look? Yeah, not a problem. Let's go in. Matt oh. makes stuff out of hard rubbish and stuff that he finds, and he's been good enough to show us some of the wonderful things that he's put together in his shed. All right, let's have a look. Oh, Matt, this is fantastic. Yeah. Hey? Yeah. No. This is fantastic. I mean, look at that. That's made out of fence palings, I that think. Give us a rundown on that one right there. Yeah, so this is made Come out of on. fence palings. This is just a little toolbox that I made. Um, so what I've done is I've got all the offcuts from people that don't want to use them, and I recycle it all. Um, what's the point of throwing it out? It's all, you know, going to be into a uh, landfill. So if someone can use it as a toolbox, it's better for someone than it is in the ground. It's, it's almost as if I've met my hero. <laughs> seriously, <laughs> seriously. I think the only hero here is ourselves. Because you're doing what you love and I do what I love. This is what we're talking about, guys. Matt's out here making a difference in his life and doing something and making a few bucks along the way. Have a look at this. Show us some of these... Sun Oh, mate. But that's a sundial just made out of a saw blade, uh, a, a sprocket from a big machine, this. and I've just welded it up with a bit of scrap pipe, you know? And it's, it's, it's a sundial. It tells the time. You know, people complain about not having a watch. Well, buy a sundial. <laughs> an old saying as well, sometimes you need old tools to make old things. And that's what I believe, you know? Sometimes you need old tools to make old things. That's true. You know, the way, that, the, the way they used to make old cathedrals and how they made... Um, certain bridges and things like that. It's all made with old tools and old skills. They don't have them anymore. Actually, we have a lack of old skills. You go to any lost trades fair, all them skills make all the really old things. And people don't do that anymore. It's sad. It, it is sad. It is sad, Matt. And I'll tell you what, I've been called a tool before, the people who watch the show. <laughs> yeah, that, that bloke, Billy, he's a bit of a tool. That's all right. But you know what Hogue says? That's our other host. Hogue said, that's, that's a compliment, Billy. And I say, why is that? And he said, because tools are useful. Yeah. You know? Yeah, that's so, true. That, you that's know, true. so I just take, someone calls, say, hey, Billy, you're a bit of a tool. I think, well, I'm useful. That's Boy, the first thing I think. Uh, Where did you get that? I got that from a friend who was throwing out some scrap metal. Um, they used to make old chair, um, used to make bar stools and chairs. So I just took the bit of pipe, welded it all up, welded a sprocket to it, and just put the sun, just put the blade onto it, and that was pretty, pretty easy. I know it's just all, it's just useful stuff. And you've got one here behind you, which you've started. Yeah, that started. They're not finished at the moment. I've had, a, I've had a little bit on at the moment. I've had my first, my first baby come oh, along. Oh, so. congratulations, Matt! Congratulations, Thank mate, boy or a girl? Boy. Boy, lovely. Yeah. Lovely. So I've had, I've had a bit of a pause in time, and I haven't really done much, but I'm slowly getting back into everything, and um. You know, it's my, my goal to work. You know, you work for yourself. You give back to the community as well as, you know, you help. Mate, you made a bird bar. Yeah, out of a wok. Out of a wok. Out of a wok, yeah. How so, good is he? So, How good is he, viewers? Look at that. It's a bird bath out of a wok. Tell us about this one, Matt. So when I was working at the company where I got the demo saw blades, they had some more. So I took that and I got a disc off a grinding um, uh, concrete grinder and I welded them together. Then I welded... That other, them, them other bit of pipes that I was talking to you about before, and I found a wok for free on Gumtree, so I went and picked it up. And because it's cast iron, you have to weld it a bit differently. So you actually got to heat it up and then match the heat to the cast iron to weld it. Okay. okay. Um, and you know, know it serves as yeah, because because cast iron is like molten metal, so you have to heat up steel to heat up steel to match it, so you can so you can bond it together. Okay. Okay. So I just welded that together like that. And um, now it stays as bird bath in their backyard, and the birds go absolutely stupid over it and crazy, if that's right to say. Yeah, you can <laughs> say anything you like. No. We're rated M now. Okay. We're on at eight thirty. We're rated M. M for Matthew. That's right. M for Matthew. <laughs> Matthew. He, he's got it. I like, um, I like to do my own sculpting oh, with welding. That's great. Oh, We've the, got a show on the. Sh I've just got to interrupt you there, Matt. We've got a segment called Hard Art. Yeah. On our show, yeah. where we find hard rubbish and we make art out of it. Yeah. Right? No, that's okay. all right. This is hard art that's written the, all over it. That's the first piece of hard art I've ever welded and built. I'll never sell that. I'll be buried with it, if that makes sense. You know, it's one of my favourite items. Oh, um, I am absolutely yeah. loving that. And what are they? So Gear that, chains or something? Um, so they're, they're, they're huge sprockets off a machine called a Vermeer. They're like a little mini loader or like a little digger. Um, and they're just going to throw them out and they're worn away. So I ground it all down, cleaned it all up, and I slowly welded that together to make it look like it's spinning around. In the sense that it's a bit of an illusion, but you know, like you know how they weld. You know when you see a coin spinning around on the table. I get it. That's kind of the same thing with this. I get it. Man. And just like my business and my life, I try to make sure that the gears keep on grinding. 
um, on Facebook, YouTube, and Instagram. Um, and yeah, look, drevno just means, in Polish, just means the word wood. So I'm really just selling the word. Make stuff out of hard rubbish. Here he is, viewers. Mm. This guy's an absolute gem. He's putting this stuff together. He's found in hard rubbish. He's making sundials. He's making dog kennels. Viewers, this is the sort of thing we're talking about. We're talking about saving stuff from landfill, making it and putting it together. Here's Matthew. He's doing exactly what we say. He's got some brilliant little metaphors for it all. Use it. You're not wasting it. That's only imagination. That's the only thing that, you know, you need. Anyone can make anything. It's a sundial. It tells the time. You know, people complain about not having a watch. But by a sundial, sometimes you need old tools to make old things. It's the other one hand can't wash itself. It's made a roof for a dog kennel. The dog gets a home for a night. It's just in my life, I try to make sure that the gears keep on grinding. Lovely. <laughs> Fantastic metaphors. It's Matt, right. I absolutely love it. It's all right. You can have it for free. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks very much. Yeah. I've pinched a few of Daz's, so, you know, right. I can, you know, I can get them where I need them. Um, so uh, look, he's just Matt's just taken me into his into his into his domain. This, this is, is his shell. This is your this is your man cave. All I need is running water and a bed and Olivia. <laughs> I got my fridge over there, so I'm set up. Shake out the thunder from the supporters sky. and some demon supporters. And the kids there have already told me their their ideals on on the match. And um, yeah, he's absolutely right, that young man and that young girl. I barracked for the wrong team. Yep. You picked the wrong team. <laughs> Suck. From the yeah. mouths of babes. From the mouths of babes. Cash for trash. trash. Back to the training everywhere except in Geelong. And other words like struth. No one says that anymore. Struth. Now, last week, Daz and I were out at Chelsea. And we saw these charge stations, which we we had a little bit of a little. We did a little bit of a, a little bit of a thing on. Now I've just pulled up here. Have a look. Have a look. There you go. There they are. There they are. There they are again. Look at that charge stations. So this is this is the future, guys. This is the future of the world. Electric cars, right? There's one. There's two. There's three. Uh, yeah, three. It's a Tesla. There's a Fima. There's a Tesla, 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 Tesla. There they are. So, you know what? Right now, if you come to Geelong in your electric car, right, you can come here, you can park your car, you can plug it in to this one, and you're on your way. You have a bit of a, have a few beers, right? Not too many, because you're driving. Have a few beers at Little Creatures Brewery, and then you're charged all the way back to Melbourne. I'm electric, mate. This is what electric vehicles are all about, guys. All right, well, look, we're going to get into Little Creatures Brewery. Let's go and have a look and see what's in there. Come on, let's have a look, viewers. Let's have a look. Tied up and being water tortured. What do you think? What do you thought? Oh, it's beautiful. Oh. Well, let's grab this one. Let's have a happy day. That's, that's, oh, there, uh, there we go. There we go. There's no rain. That's why it's a happy day. We are the We're at the Little Creatures Brewery, all right? and all creatures are welcome. All right? Including us. Hey, Bell. And there it is. Bell. The Little Creatures Brewery. So we're, we're going to pop in here and have some lunch. We're going to pop in here and have some lunch on that. All right? What do you love? I love beer. She loves beer. There you is can, no you, limit. You can make anything if you know what you're doing, if you get enough knowledge. And there's if you, and there's if no you, limit. There's no limit. There's no limit. There's no limit, there's no limit to your imagination either, I'll no, tell you. No. There's no limit to your imagination. No. There's it's no limit. absolutely fantastic. Well, we're going to have to get on with it. We that's hate right. to love you and leave you. No, that's all right. And look, I'll tell you what, we, we just finished the interview, but Matt's then brought me into his man cave and showed me where all the magic happens. Yeah. You know, unbelievable. 
And um, he's even got a friend out here that he shares. Oh. That he shares his. He shares no, some clothes. No, some clothes at my stage. Yeah, and I have to have dress up yeah, a little yeah. bit. You might need that one day, Matt. I'll tell you, right? Okay, after 30 years of marriage, that'll start looking good. You hit yourself an old footy ball, go and drum and burn it, but you know you can't do that anymore. No. <laughs> you remember those days? Yeah, the good old hey, days. The good old days. You just had flames. Everyone thought they were, the house was on fire. No, but that's the old but the old burner was going. Yeah, that's how Dad used to burn the leaves. Yeah, yeah. but that's like the oldest thing in the back of the houses. You know, they don't have them anymore. So it's an old thing, you know. No, it's wonderful. Oh, well, look. We have to get going because Daz has to start work soon, so uh, real, we need a real job. You know? <laughs> the real world. Yeah, the real world. He has, to go, he has to go back to the real world. Suck up, no, I'm only joking. But um, yeah, anyway, great car show out here at Geelong. Who would have known? This is Geelong, guys. This is great. You should get down here to Geelong, you people, all right? And because we're having a bit of a wet weather day, we're doing a bit of a special on Geelong today. All right, so I think without further ado, we'll just get on it, all right? But the first thing we've got to do is we've got to find a loo. Because, look, normally when Hoag's prostate, when Hoag's prostate plays up, he just stops filming and just goes off and has a piss behind a tree. I mean, if you can believe it. I mean, I don't know who does that. Hoag's does that, all right? Hey, plus, I've been working uh, our, on our my new co-star, Daz. He's got, so just, what, what do you think of this, Daz? I like it. Hey, I'm working on the he's, Dad's came up with that and I've ripped it off. He hasn't got a patent on it, so he, I'm, I've got to, I've got to patent that, but that's the new sign off for cash for trash, right? And Dad's came up with that, all right? There you go, there's, there's Grace, she's doing some happy snaps. She's helping us out today. She's an absolute gem. She brings a bit of life into the show um, and we just love having her, all right? Well, let's go and find a loo, all right? Come on, guys, let's go and find a loo, all right? Okay, we think we found the loos, guys. All right, here it is. Uh, the public toilets are located at Cunningman, Cunningham Pier entrance and the Wharf Shed Pavilion. So the Cunningham Pier entrance, I'm thinking, guys, have a look over here. I think that's it, at the Cunningham Pier entrance, and I think over there, and this is a bit of a public, because we're community TV, this is a bit of a public service announcement. If anyone's down here at the waterfront, that's where the loos are, mate. They're over there. Where the loo? Where the loo's are, guys? From being dicey to, to we've come out on a really good day. Don't need any. It looks like it's pissing down over there and not here. Yeah, yeah, you know, today's the best day to it's come out. It's the place for, to be. To, to, to All right. You can go a three-kilometre return still for nine bucks. That's pretty good. And in here, in here, guys, we've got the carousel. I don't know if you can see that through there. Can you see that through those windows, guys? That's a carousel. That's a really old, that's a beautiful old carousel, that one. Um, you know, there's one at Luna Park as well. Um, that's, a, that's a ripper. Um, are we on to, when's it open? Here we go. So the carousel, waterfront, hours of operation, Monday to Friday. What day? We're on Saturday. Oh, it opens at 10.30. Oh, so we might be able to wander in there and have a look at that. All right, there's all these wonderful things you can do. You've got to come on down to Geelong, mate. All right, you're missing all this. But we're here to find hard rubbish, and it, as I said, it is it is a this is a uh, a booked hard rubbish. So there's only two a year, and um, we've got to find it. So right now we're just giving it a little dead end. Uh, dead end. Oh look, look here we go. Here we go, Jazz. Look at that. We've got the, we've got the, we, uh, how many of them do we see out there? They're, they're the exercise bike of the future. Yeah. Is the, uh, is the, um, the basketball hoops. So you're already, you're already, so it's a pot or a pint. So it's a pot or a pint. Pot or a pint. And we're explaining to Grace what a pint or a pot or a pint is. Yeah. All right. But pot is also. Yeah, and, and yeah, men yeah. and men that drink too much beer, they've yeah, got a pot. Yeah, so we've got we've got a mixture of different yeah, um, yeah. things so, you can indulge in. So it's just a pot of white out. Yeah. yeah, that's right. Have a look at this, guys. Well, guys, what a day we had out here today in Geelong, Corio, and the surrounding areas. I went to Corio. I didn't need a flak jacket, but I was a bit concerned. New town to Corio, they're like miles apart. It's like Turak and Broad Meadows. Anyway, we've had a fantastic time out there today. We found some great stuff. We met some great people. We just had a great day. What a brilliant day. Look, they said it was going to rain today. It rained a bit on the way up here, but it's beautiful now. So that's, this is Billy Trash. 
Daz has helped me out today with the sound and we've got amazing Grace. She's out there helping us with uh, the camera work, the sound with Daz. Everyone's out here. We've got a full crew. He's a very, very disappointed Swan supporter who's still holding the banner high. OK, we'll see you next week, viewers. Down the thunder from the sky. And we have another beat. Two minutes and six seconds. Another beat. And another beat. Oh, oh, 142. Come on, where's my kaching? Ah, oh, there it is, kaching. Kaching. And thanks for appearing on Cash for Trash. Happy diggings. <laughs> Cash for Trash, love it. Ah, oh, there it is, catch me, catch me.